we don't believe that mothers tell lies. This suffering that you are suffering in your marriage now have been there for years, but you did not see it. The love of mother closed your eyes. You did not know that your mother is among these modern women. Look at in the villages, so many fathers, they die. How did they die? You don't know. Everybody concentrate on their mother, especially those in abroad. When you come back, you pack everything, give to your mother. Your mother will be the one now to give to your father. You don't know what your daddy is suffering. In, in your, you are there, but you don't know what your daddy was suffering. Now, I want to take, tell you now to take care of yourself. Why? As you're saving money now, as you're working, any work you're doing now, little work, big work, start saving one, one naira for your old age. So that by that time you will get old, you will not depend on your wife, on your children. Don't say, oh, my children is good. I have a good wife. For now, you have a good wife for now. Let me ask you a question. Why did uh, uh, Satan tempt Eve, not Adam? They can't get men. Men are wise. Satan don't get men easily. They use women to destroy men's life. That is why you see so many men are secretly crying because of bad wives. Even now, you have a wife, oh, but you don't know who your wife really is. All of you. It's not because you're a fool. And those of you who married a bad wife or the wife have started to show that bad character, that does not mean that you have failed. And that does not mean that you made a mistake. No. Women have been like that for years and people do not know. I beg you now, my message today is for you to take care of yourself. Package yourself very well. Take care of yourself. Look at women. They're always happy. Sweet mothers everywhere. Sweet mothers everywhere. They're taking care of this. They make their hair. Even in suffering. The man will be suffering, you know, thinking of how to buy a motor, thinking of how to build house, thinking of how to pay school fees. Before 50, the man will have white hair. Mama will dress well, make her hair, rub better cream, wear better clothes. You see men, they wear tattered clothes. They are the one making the money, you know? But my pain and why I'm telling all of you life now is that so that you don't suffer what your father suffered. You don't know what your father suffered. You don't know. Because all, all the men hate themselves. Men don't talk to each other. How many times did you go to your father? How many times did you go to your father and say, Ah, daddy, how are you? How are you fairly? Everybody is mama, 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 mama. Because of the love of a mother. We ignore the men. So many men died crying. People did not know. Your father, you don't know how, if your father is late, now you don't know how he died. You don't know. You don't know what he passed through. If you still have a father, you have opportunity to go back and take care of your father and ask him some questions. You will see that what you're passing through, your, dad, your daddy has been passing through the same thing. My advice for you today, as you're taking care of your wife and your children, take care of yourself as well. Save for your old age so that your life will not depend on anybody. So that by that time, if the children fail, or if the wife fail, you will see where to fall back at. You will see where to fall back so that you will get some, some money and some hope to eat. Especially the ones in, men in Nigeria. The ones in overseas that have some facilities, they may remain there. But let me even ask you again. You will say, ah, my wife is good, he loves me so much. All the divorce you see started with honey sweetie. All the bad wife you see today, they have been a good wife. Pretending. Men do not pretend. Women pretend. They will hate you, they see pretend. When you offend them, they don't forgive easily. Are you, are you listening? What I'm telling you, they pretend. Men are not like that. Men are honest. 80% of men take care of their homes. They take care of their wife from their heart. They give their all. They give everything up just to take care of their wife and their children, just for them to be happy. At the end of the day, what did, tell me their reward. Stroke. Stroke. They have stroke. You don't know. Some of them are shaking. They're retired men and bad government. Look at bad government, including, especially the ones that they, they have pension. 
government fail them as well. That is why I say take care of your old age. Nigeria government will fail you. Ask people. They will say that and bring social paper before you collect pension. And they know that you will not get that paper. So they use that one to disqualify you in old age. When that woman will brainwash your children and begin to tell them, and you know that every child, even you listening to me, even if your baba, your mother is still alive, you still believe your mother. You don't know the mother still lies. When they will sweet talk to you, everything your daddy do, they, they know how to manipulate their children. They know how to manipulate children. Even if the children is Obama, even if the child is Baba, this Buharena, if the mother is still alive, you know how to manipulate their children. And they capitalize on the love of children because the children, every children love their mother. They capitalize on that and finish the men. God bring me into this world to tell the men the truth and to to tell open the eyes of the men so that God would have told me that men so many men die in pain they die secretly in pain in their own home people did not know in the village you see them they gather one place when they talk among themselves they go back separate nobody know what they are passing through you listening to me don't say i am wise it's not by wiseness it's not by i'm doing a good job and again, remember that why you married is because of your old age, so that you can find peace in your home. Your mother will not be there at that time. Your sisters, those ones, people helping you will not be there in your old age. Me, I will not be there. I don't know when I will die because my message in this world, I have a very limited time to live in this earth. I'm telling you, my message is to talk about men, the marginalization of men. I beg you, as you're listening to me, take care of yourself so that you will not have high blood pressure, so that you will not have stroke, so that you can live long. Tell me again, old women everywhere, landladies, who, who are the landladies? How many of them buy house? Now Baba house, oh. Now man get that house where you dey here, now landlady, landlady, my landlady. Who, where the Baba, where get the house? Where the Baba, where build that house? Where is that Baba? The Baba done died 30, 40 years ago. Mama see the only sickness mama have is only leg pain and waist pain. You will see mama play play, mama go they go, mama go they leave, mama go they go, mama go reach hundred eight. Baba uncle, how old baba the day he die? How old, ask yourself, all the baba, even the ones who still their life, their leg is shaking, they are walking slow motion. The babas we still their life. See this Bible, how we came. I speak it in Hebrew. This Bible is my strength, is my power. When I talk, I'm telling you, listen to me. Men, I beg you, especially the young men, you will not understand. If you did not hear me now and save for your old age, if you did not listen to me now and take precaution for your old age, you will remember me in the night. That time I must have gone. You will remember me in your old age. You will remember one woman, Jenfeli Sobonna. You never ask her, have you seen me before? No. I just entered Facebook this year. 